Hey everyone, this is Dikshit from the team Programming Panthers. We are a team of two, myself and Khalil. Today, we are going to replicate the official web page of uh, BMW. Yeah, I will be showing you the web page. Yeah, this is the web page we need to replicate. We will be replicating this using Visual Studio. Actually, let's create a folder, new folder, which is in the name of the web page, that is BMW. After after creating a folder, we will be replicating the landing page using the Visual Studio. Uh, let's open a new folder which we have created. That is uh, BNW. Let's create a new file uh, inside the folder that is which is named after index.html. And for styling the web page, we also need CSS. So we will be creating style.css. And we'll be creating one more file, a BMW video file. This is because uh, in the web page we need to replicate, we have a video running down in the background. So we'll be downloading this video so we can use it. So we have a video running uh, in the background of the web page. So we need to download a video. So this is the video we will be putting in the background which will be used in the, in our project. Yeah, this is the BMW official video, which will be dropping down in the uh, here video section of the BNW web page so it can be used now we have created a video section inside the BNW inside the BNW we will be dropping down the video in this folder in the BNW folder now this is the BNW video let's drop it in the video section of the let's paste it here now when we open the visual studio we can see the video is uploaded uh, in this file now coming to the html file let's write down the html code coming to the head section we'll write the starting part of the html code so this section can be created uh, by using a common basic emit called doc also the head section contains various meta tags specifying the documents character encoding viewport settings viewport settings and uh, compatibility compatibility so be writing a uh, link to the css file which we use for styling the html page this only contain the html page only contains the uh, content which is, which is visible in the web page and the styling can be done by the css so we have linked the css file to this uh, html and we also have a link to the bootstrap CSS, CSS file from CDN. Uh, this is the link we should, we should write. And here comes the title which we need to mention. Uh, so our project name is BNW. We are replicating a BNW website. So we'll be writing the BNW website. Now coming to the body part, we'll be writing the body part. Yeah, so this is the body part. Uh, the body section this whole body section element contains uh, visible things on the web page all the visible things are written in the body part of the uh, body part of the code uh, let's see what we have written so we have created a class uh, named banner uh, in uh, in the body part uh, by creating a division yeah in this we will be creating a background video we will be creating a full width background video with the BNW logo overlay. So we'll be linking the video also. The wrapper section, this wrapper section contains the main main content of the web page. In the header section, we have represented the navigation bar and all the logo of the website. And in the navigation bar uh, present here, we, have, we should write all the content visible in the navigation bar like logo. We have a BNW logo, model, electrical, configurator, visit online shop, more BNW, and the storefront, location icon, and all the search button. So 
so we'll be writing this content in the navigation bar and coming to this part uh, we have a paragraph which you can see in the output here she driving pleasure this will be written over here by using h5 heading tag coming to container 6 uh, we have uh, we used grid of cards and written the content which is visible in the output the new bundle xm and the first ever bundle xm all this content is written and hold in the kept hold in the container six the section 3 uh, according to the output given we have this shopping tools find your bundle and this logos and so this content is written in the visual studio by using the heading tags uh, the shopping tools find your bundle and this things and also we have an image in, uh, in the background uh, so we have linked the image so we have linked the image in the visual studio so in the output in this section we have a car logo car and search logo and this logos and we have find a new car book a test drive and build your own so in the visual studio we have created three three sections using grid of cards so this is a container which have a, which is a grid layout uh, which is basically a grid layout uh, so this is a grid layout representing different tools which is, different tools which are visible over here uh, like uh, find a new car search now book a test drive these are the three different cards we have created here and we also have another shopping tool build your own which is visible over here build your own and finally we have this text this is forwardism yeah we have this text in the landing page this is the for, this is forwardism the 7 and then full stop so in the section 3 we have written this heading this is forwardism in using the h1 tag and we have also created a button uh, button which is uh, no no more which is visible over here no more and now coming to the end of the html page we have links to links to the external sources we have linked to an external file that is script.js uh, which where we have used some icons so the icons are present in this we have extracted them from an external source so we have linked them link this uh, index.html to script.js fair ion icons are present ion icons are present so now coming to the styling of this page we have just written the content of this page so we have written this whole content and link the images link this icon sorry not images we have link this icons now for, for styling of this page we will use css so coming to css now we will be writing the css part so So, so starting in CSS uh, to replicate the this landing page of the BNW official website, we'll be using a global CSS which will be setting the margin and the padding to zero of all all elements. This global CSS is applicable to all the elements. We are coming to the next part. We have a banner section uh, which is uh, visible in the HTML page where we have uh, linked the loop mode. Uh, of the video loop mode of the video will be adjusting the width of the banner element to 101% and height height to 100 uh, viewport height and we'll be applying flexbox properties for displaying and if any overflow is there it will be hidden we will be applying flexbox properties for centering the content and we have given a width of 1500 pixel to the video so video content will be given the width of 1500 pixel and the video the video which we have uploaded will be given given the position as absolute it will be covering its uh, it will be covering the entire container and we will be ma- and we will be maintaining the aspect ratio also top equal 0 left as 0 and object fit will be covered and now we will be po- positioning the wrapper element related to the banner element by keeping the index z index as 1 to stack it above the video we will be stacking it above the video by keeping the z index as 1 this will be applicable only the elements of the wrapper which are related to banner 
we styled the anchor elements and we have removed the text decoration and here we styled the unordered list elements by removing the def default bullet uh, bullet points and we also we also styled the list uh, list items by displaying them inline block and we have applied a color of white we have set them as the inline blocks and we styled the header section by giving it with 200% the maximum width and the background color is given as uh, transparent to obtain uh, to replicate the same as the above web page of the given web page here we will be styling the navigation bar setting its height color and displaying displaying it as flex container with the space in between alignment here uh, we style the logo bar by giving a high index uh, we have given a high index to style the logo bar the logo container the logo container is styled by giving some high index and we have styled the logo anchor by setting the color font size font weight and text transform which is required for to for replicating same as the web page and we have given the color as black font size as 30 pixel and font weight as 700 and the text transform will be in upper case here we will be styling uh, here uh, dot header dot now uh, bar dot menu dot ul dot li will be we will be styling the social media icons container specifying the dimensions alignment and uh, font size border radius and background color everything the opacity and the text decoration is uh, set to none and coming and coming to the active menu uh, active active this thing style the active menu item changing its opacity background color and also the color here styling the menu item anchors on the hover and sets its opacity to one we are setting the background color to white and uh, color to black and we have many buttons given in the html page as we can see we have given many buttons which are uh, like this first ever configure price no more and these buttons and we have given a, a styling to h3 as text align as center and the image is also given a height of 180 pixel as we can see here over here the image the image over here so the image is given a height of 180 pixel in the, in the html page we have given a class ext for the content find a new car which is visible this is find a new car book a test drive and build your own so uh, the styling of uh, this class is done in css dot uh, ext the color is given black as uh, we can see the text color is uh, is given black so we will be giving black color and the font is also given and in the web page the the find your bmw is given at the center so in the html page find your bmw is given as the class text shopping tools are, is also given uh, in, within the class text so we will be styling it so in the css we have uh, we have designed the dot, dot text by giving text align as center and font weight as 800 so it will be the text is aligned at the center as we can see the shopping tools and find your b and w both the lines are aligned at the center and in the container t we have a content like this is the forward is the seven which is visible yeah this is the content this is the forward is and the seven this is designed in the css page yeah we design we added the text align and the margin top of 20 pixel and padding top of 100 pixel and padding left of 50 pixel and we have we can also see a background image which is visible under the text so this background image now this is the this is the css code now let's see the output yeah we will go live and see the output this is the output we have got we have replicated we have successfully replicated the landing page of the bnw and the web page what we need is this we have only changed the background video we have the output we got is this this is our project thank you